see recording here. Uh, we are going to be talking about whole numbers. That's the first video, which is a little introduction to whole numbers. And I'm putting that picture there because I want people to see. We need to know the name of each location. We start with the ones, the tens, the hundreds. What comes after the hundreds? Thousand, then what? 10,000, 100,000, millions, 10 millions, 100 millions, billions, 10 billions, 100 billions, trillions, 10 billion, 100 trillions, and so forth. Because we need to know the name of each one, why? In a few minutes, we're going to start writing the problem in a standard form, writing a problem in expanded form, and you have to know which one's which. So for example, the first set of examples you might see is a problem like this. Two, seven, eight, comma, zero, five, six. And the question, what place Does the digit eight occupy? Well, what do you think of digit eight here? Yep, that's the ones, tens, hundreds, this is the thousand. So for that problem, the answer will be thousands. If I change the number, and again, we're talking about the same digit, eight. If I change that to eight, zero, three, seven, four, six. Notice the eight here was this one, that's a thousand. The eight here is right here. So is that 10,000? Is that a million? What is it? 100,000. One more, maybe. Three, zero, eight, zero, seven, zero, one, two, nine, four. Here's the eight. What is that? Yep, ten millions. So you'll see some of the problems on the homework is like this. What place does the digit five here occupy? That'll be what? Tens. Uh, what place does the digit seven here occupy? Hundreds, right? What place the digit seven in this one occupy? Hundred thousand. So that's why I have to know the place of each location. Another thing in section one you will see, let me know if I'm going too fast. Sometimes I have a couple of cups of coffee before I get here. So I'm like, nah, 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 I'm going. You okay? Okay. Let me write this number. Eight zero 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 comma three seven six comma zero five two and you give it a big number so you know what this is in a standard form when you write the number like this that's called standard form I want you to write that in words. Write the above number
in words. The key when you take this number, change it to words, you're gonna start from which side? Always work from the left side. And we're gonna group, look at each number in groups here. So this is what? The eight what? Billion. So that's eight billion comma what else do we have I'll take that 300 notice there's nothing in the million 76 thousand And the last group is what? 52. So to write that in words, that's what you're gonna write. 8 billion, 52. Let's try another one. I'll make it easy on me. What do you think? How are we gonna write that? 95, yep. Millions, you said? Three. There's no thousand, just three. Again, that's writing using what? In words. This is a standard form. This is write the above number in words. Now there's another notation called expanded notation. Expanded notation, we take each digit and expand it. We write each digit separate. So what's an expanded notation? Uh, let me look at that. I have this number. 27,013. Write in expanded notation. In expanded notation. Again, expanded each digit separate. We start from the left side. The two is what? Two, what's the value of that digit? 10,000, good. Plus seven what? Thousands. Plus, you can put zero hundreds if you want to. Because you want to write each digit. Plus what? One, ten, plus what? Three ones. And that's called expanded notation, digit by digit. When the number is really big, it's almost impossible to write that in expanded notation if you have one of those big, big numbers. So a lot of times we tend to cheat. We take them in groups of threes like we did before. Nothing really fancy in this chapter, just knowing the different terminology. And the last topic here is rounding. Rounding.
So how do you round your numbers? What is the procedure for that? Well, you're going to see me, the first thing is, what I'm going to do is end our line, the place to which you are rounding. I'm going to underline that first. After underline, I'm going to look at the digit to the right of that. The digit to the right. I take a look at it. For what? If that digit, if the digit five or more, if it is five or more, what do we do? Add one to the underlying digit. Go up, that's right. If it's not, if it is less than, what do we do? We leave the underlying digit We leave that digit what? Unchanged. All these notes, by the way, will be put on the website. You'll have access to all these notes plus the videos. So if you just want the notes, everything, I take a snapshot of them, they go on the website. And what's the last step? Replace all the digits. To the right of the ender line, sounds like a lot of work there, but it's not. I'm just writing all the steps. To the right of the ender line, replace them with what? Zeros, exactly. With zeros. So that's the step of rounding. Underline the digit you want to round to. Look at the digit to the right of that. If it's five or more, you add one to that digit. If it's not five or more, don't change it. And replace all the digits to the right with zeros. And I'm going to take some examples here and go through them. We'll follow the steps to see if we can do them. I'll move it up. I'm not going to take it off the screen. Here's an example. Round 5 or 51,000. Let's do this. 762. I'm going to do it twice. Part A, I want your nearest thousand. And part B will do it twice. Nearest 10,000. Oh. So I should write 10,000. I already have my eraser here. 10,000. I should have made this 10 like this. Okay, that's fine. Let me look at the number again twice. 51, 760, and the other one, 51, 760. We're going to do it twice. To nearest thousand. The first step, it says what? Underline the place to which you want to round. Nearest thousand. Which one's the thousand here? One. The one. Now let's just look at the A one. Don't worry about B. Step number two, look at the digit directly to the right of the one, the underlined one. Is that five or more? 
add one to this. So this will turn to what? 52. The one becomes two. And the last step, replace all these digits with what? Zeros. Let's look at B. Nearest 10,000. Underline the 10,000. That's this one. Step number one. Step number two. Look at the digit directly to the right of the five, which is the one. Is that five or more? No. Okay, it says if the digit is not more than five, don't change this one. So this one is going to stay the same. The 5 will not change. But now all these digits will be replaced with what? Zeros. So 5 or more, we add 1. Under 5, we drop it. Let's give you a couple of them to try. I'll do the same thing, A and B. I'll give you a number around 79,632, part A, nearest mm, 100. Part B, nearest thousand. Take a minute, follow the steps, and see if you can get the answer. Let's look at A, write the number, 79630, underline the digit, nearest 100, that's the place, right, the 100, look at that number, is that 5 or more, no change to that digit, 796, and the rest of these digits, all the ones to the right of this one, replace them with what? zeros. Again, the same problem. Nearest thousand. There's a thousand. Underline that digit. Is that five or more? Add one to this. So when you add one to the nine, becomes what? Ten. So that becomes an eighty. And what's going to happen to all these digits? Zeros. Zeros. 